Hey folks, if you're someone who's gone down the rabbit hole of trying to keep up with all the information there is in tech, then this video is for you. I know the sheer amount of learning that you need to do in this industry can be extremely overwhelming, which is why in this video, I'm going to be talking about a framework that I developed back in 2020 that really helps me learn stuff a lot more quickly than I used to. So grab a coffee, take a seat and let's dive right into it. The first step to learning quickly is to set a learning goal. Now this step is extremely simple, but it's often overlooked by so many people. I can't tell you the number of times that I found myself going through an endless maze of tutorials and learning resources simply because I hadn't taken a moment to decide on my learning goal. To give you a more concrete example, let's say you've been tasked with integrating a new technology into a project, maybe Docker. The learning goals for this project would then be to understand conceptually what Docker actually is and to do some research on how it's actually used in projects and how you can go about integrating it into an existing project. Now once you've set a learning goal, the second step in this framework is simple and simply involves curating a list of resources that helps you address those learning goals. Your best friend during this process would be Google, but I'd recommend using specific search terms to address those learning goals just so that later on you don't waste time by going through resources that aren't relevant. Now, once you've curated a list of resources, it's time to move on to step three, which involves actively engaging with the resources that you've just accumulated. This means that you shouldn't just be mindlessly reading or watching content, but instead actually interacting with it. So for example, if you found a video tutorial on a certain concept, and rather than just sitting back and watching the video from start to finish, I'd encourage you to pause the video at certain checkpoints and try to summarize what you've just learned so far. This style of learning is going to help you form those neural connections so much quicker, which is overall going to help you learn concepts much more quickly. Now, once you've gone through the content, it's time for step four, which is reinforcing what you've learned. And to do that, I normally use the Feynman technique. Now, the Feynman technique is named after the renowned physicist Richard Feynman and generally involves explaining what you've just learned as if you were explaining it to a five-year-old. The idea here is that if you can explain what you've just learned in simple terms without all the jargon surrounding the topic, then you basically understand what you've learned well enough. Now, personally, I struggle to imagine teaching technical stuff to a five-year-old so instead what I do is I imagine teaching it to myself a few hours ago before I actually learned the content. Now it's time to move on to step 5 which is actually an optional step but it involves building a project to actually solidify whatever you've just learned. From what I've found there's no better way to actually solidify something that you've learned than to actually use it in a practical way. And if you're looking for project ideas then you can get creative and maybe ask ChatGPT for some inspiration or even go through YouTube and see what other developers are building. The next step involves documenting what you've learned along the way. Generally, when you learn something new, you'll find that you come across golden nuggets of information that were basically essential in addressing your learning goals. These golden nuggets are basically those aha moments that help you finally understand what a concept or topic is. And what you want to do is you want to document those golden nuggets of information on an application like Notion or even just pen and paper, just so that later on in the future, as time goes by and you start to forget what you've learned, you can go back to those golden nuggets of information rather than going through all the content you had curated to learn that topic and address your learning goal. So if you use these six steps to learn over a long enough period of time, then you'll find that learning quickly has actually become your superpower. But why stop there? Why not use this newfound superpower along with these side hustles to actually monetize the stuff that you've learned and earn some extra money on the side? If that sounds interesting, then check out this video that I've made.